Hi everyone, it's a great pleasure for me today to present you my, my master research project on art high tunnel production of organic strawberries. This, this study was under the supervision of Dr. Matsan Daré from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and co-supervision of Dr. André Gosselin from University Laval uh, in Quebec City. Uh, in, in comparison to the U.S. production of strawberries, the Canada, Canada one is a small, small one. Only 4,000 4, hectares in production compared to uh, over 23 hectares of production for the U.S. As for, the, uh, as for Quebec, we only have uh, almost 2,000 hectares. We are the biggest producer of strawberry uh, uh, for the description, but only 2.45 hectare in high tunnel. The objective of this experiment was to determine the effect of different organic fertilization and substrate on, pla uh, on plant growth and development, fruit productiv productivity and quality as well, as well as the effect of different organic fertilization treatment on fruit post harvest quality. The experiment was con uh, conducted in a commercial site, Les Fraises, Les Fraises de l'Ile d'Orléans, located at Ile d'Orléans in the province Quebec as shown by the Red Star, just over here. Multi-bay uh, multi tunnels were used at, and the ventilation was controlled by manual roll-up system. The gutter growing system was on, uh, the gutter growing system was used as shown in this picture, just over here. The gutter well, gutters were located at 1.2 meter high and three plants per three liter pots were, were used for a plant population of 10 plants per linear meters and a grand total of 20 plants per experimental unit. Three uh, day neutral cultivars were studied, the Seascape Monterey developed in the United States and Charlotte from France. Four, four different treatments were studied. The first one was the first one was the conventional substrate and fertilization regime, general, generally used at the commercial level for this soilless gutter growing system. The second treatment was a combination of the organic substrate with the conventional fertilization in order to see if there was any substrate effect. The third treatment was the combination of the organic substrate uh, with the organic liquid fertilization. Uh, however, uh, organic hydroponic growing system is not accepted in Canada by the certification agencies. The fourth treatment was the combination of the organic substrate with the organic liquid and solid fertilization, which is accepted by uh, the, the certification agencies. Several parameters were measured in 2011. Uh, plant growth was evaluate, evaluated two times during the growing season. So shoot and roots, fresh and dry weight were measured on six plants per experimental unit, as well as the number of leaves and crowns. Fruit were, were harvested three to four times per week, depending on the state of the production and the fruit number and weight was measured. Fruit was also classified as measurable, uh, marketable or unmarketable unmarket fruits. Fruit quality was evaluated in late August, mid-September and October by measuring the breaks, pH, antioxidant, total polyphenol content, teachable uh, acid content and their post-harvest quality. 
uh, these figures show the effect of the substrate on fertilizer and fertilize, fertilizer, fertilizer treatment on the shoot root and fresh dry matter. As you can see, no significant effect was observed observed for the uh, tree cultivar. However, a slight a slight increase was observed for the shoot fresh weight of shallow grow under uh, organic regime. Those figures show the effect of the substrate and fertilization treatment on the marketable yield. Even though the, uh, we can see a tendency of higher yield for the organic substrate uh, and conventional fertilization treatment for the monthly, right over here, uh, there is no significant difference uh, between those. Uh, as, uh, finally, for the fruit quality, there is no significant difference in the breaks degree between treatment nor between uh, cultivars. For the total polyphenol, a significant difference was observed between the cultivars, but no significant effect was observed between the substrate and the fertilization treatments. So far, the results are encouraging as we have shown the yield and the quality of the fruit are as high using organic growing uh, practical, uh, practice. We're currently doing a second trial to validate the result. In the future, we will have to look into the organic pest control and see if the yield and quality is still there. Uh, this research was found by, uh, through Canada Organics Science Cluster and with the uh, uh, help of the uh, industry partner, Les Fraises d'Orléans and Les Tourbières Berger. I would like to thank uh, thanks to all my all the the team who helped me uh, and helped me during all the, this project. Thank you. Only one tunnel or all, all the multi bay tunnel? Or just a single tunnel. Just a single tunnel. We have a total of six uh, row of gutters uh -huh. and about, let's say, three feet apart yep. from each other. Uh -huh. that I don't know uh, exactly what's the wide, uh, the wide side of the, the tunnel. As for uh, the land, it's about it's about 300 feet. 